Welcome to Kachai with Lucky. We are hoping that you are well and you are keeping safe because these times are very hard, but it shall come to pass. It is Kachai with Lucky. Subscribe on our YouTube channel. Look for Kachai with Lucky. Click subscription and be part of the family. Now, we do have Brian once again. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is here who is a sex therapist. And of course, Babu Mariam on um, this conversation that we're planning on having. Uh, something to do with households. We've had issues yeah. where these people come into our families, they become part of the family, but then they are also known to destroy families. Yeah. What really possesses men to go after these girls who are supposed to be working for us? Uh, oh yeah. What are we doing mm -hmm. right or wrong? No, there are three things involved here. Mm -hmm. One, women never understand the thing with men and innocence. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that beats men's understanding about innocence, a girl's innocence. Mm. That's one abstraction base for them. Innocence. Now when the innocence kicks in, this man always looks at them as God one. Mm. And then if they are very, very disciplined, very disciplined I mean repeat very disciplined, mm. they would build a pattern with it. Because mm. I, they, they build a pattern. Over a pattern now you you gave me to your wife at home, mm -hmm. you've got babies and the boobs are running. Mm. Some of them. As they should, because some of them, yeah, yeah, of <laughs> course. To feed. Yeah, yes. a child has to feed. Mm -hmm. Some of them don't even wear bras when they're home, they throw on that t shirt. Why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. what, what, what's wrong with That's not cool. wearing a bra? That is cool. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm just giving yeah. an example. What, yeah. what uh. I said men are, yeah. are very physical beings. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the innocence, and then this girl always comes and then throws like a farm chest. Mm. One. In your face. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then for you ladies, most ladies never understand that a helper should not, should not be a finisher. Mm. When you have a helper, they must have boundaries. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's the mm -hmm. thing you don't get. That's when they don't have boundaries... A finisher, you're, talk, you're talking about like chores. Yeah, I mean, they uh. should have helping. Make the food, don't uh. serve it. Don't yes. serve it, that's what yes. I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. Like, like, okay, take care of the kids, not my husband. Yeah. Mm. Uh, dress up, I mean, I mean, the kid's bedroom, don't lay my bed. Uh. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, one time, uh, I have been having issues with housemates actually becoming second wives. You understand? Mm. Like my, ma my, my master mm. rented me for a house. Mm. Right. So I need help. You are a second wife now. No, exactly. And then this is why it comes. When she becomes a helper and then you shift her poles to finish her, you're busy, which is understandable. Mm. But they must have what they stop at. Where they stop at. The other thing is when men start doing this, it's we have needs, we don't want sex. To us, sex is a need. And you know the, the characteristics of needs? Mm. They are very impulsive. Mm. Like, when my dopamine rises at a certain level, mm. like, hey, what's in my face at the stage? Mm. So that is a need that has been impulsively connected. But why so is are it you that you find that, men yeah. mm. who actually control that need and men who do not, you know, no, it's like saying, I don't, I can't, won't, and that's, will not. That's what we say about, that's why we talk about principles and yes. discipline. Right. Because me, for example, I will never have a housemate in my house. Mm. Okay. Because you're weak? Not weak. No. Uh -huh. I, because I'm very careful. Right. You see, you see, even God himself, there are some wars he doesn't fight. He chooses <laughs> to ignore them. <laughs> so who am I to fight a certain war? Mm. If I know, this is why. If you don't understand the part, for example, me, I'm exposed to a lot of women. Right. And one of the things I figured out, the juju people, you know what they tell them? Mm. Uh, you guys are very good in not going to juju guys. Mm. This woman comes to me and tells me, Bangambi, you are the best in fixing sex issues now, mm. but the man was going back and fixed it. I'm like, what did you do? So that I also told, tell my other clients. Mm. And then she says, they give me things. And I give him. I, 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 the, the thing is, the things juju people give you is not what works. The things that you do with them is what works. Mm. So she was given two things. You know, I'm a herbalist who can mm. smell a herb and I know this is this. Mm. So she was given meat, mm. meat powder, mm. and then some uh, bit of lavender. Mm. And she was told, when you're cooking food, never let anybody touch your husband's plate. And ah. never eat before your husband is home. Right. Always eat with this there. And then sprinkle this when you're, when you're yeah. serving. So it's like, like uh, he loves me a lot. He loves Chant that. Mm. When the man comes in, put the meat under your tongue. She, was, she wasn't told it's me. Can you can take her under that. Meanwhile, you cannot rumble when you're like, 
Look at you, you did it. You're like, hi, Dante, cool guy. Because the thing is under your child. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the story. It controls you. Yeah, I mean, it controls your, your, your rambling. You can yeah. how you, the ranting. The ranting and all that. And then, meanwhile, you know, this man is realizing the tone you're using to call. It's uh, different, from, different the from the usual. <laughs> And then she is told, <laughs> don't let your anyone eye on your husband's child. Uh -huh. This one, Okasiga. So basically, Babera, it's like you're telling <laughs> you, you know to do what? the right things. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the psychology here is, when you let this girl, after, before the husband, they wake up and they made uh, some name, a mm. shot yami. Child, mm. uh, flask, mm. and, and the presence of a maid in your husband's face is too much. She, and then they do let... Um, think we, Mates have long conversations with their husbands. Exactly. No, I've never really understood. That's yes, these girls are part be. for a part of the family, but don't get too comfortable. Why is she seated in a chair across your man and having a conversation and like on some TV oh. show? This is my I'm rule. Sorry, why no, are they? To, when yeah. we get these people into our homes, we need to be clear mm -hmm. and strict. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. being clear and just relaxing is also another problem. Mm -hmm. Because relaxing gives them that leeway to think that, you know what? I am now yeah. part of this household. Right. So, in as much as, Lucky, we are saying that, why do men do this? Let us also look at ourselves. Mm. Because sometimes you found in certain homes where the woman has given every chore <laughs> to the. See how you get the, mm. the shirts? Uh, I am daddy's shirt. Uh, you know, there are certain things. Serving the guy, the guy is back to serving. Washing drawers as well. It's like, it's like, like, yeah. like telling the maid mm. to actually uh, go and lay your bed. You get the like, like, <laughs> You're doing no that. Way. Where am I lying? Okay. That's what I'm saying. If I'm alive and kicking. kicking. So, yeah. as much as we want to ask the men, mm. why do you go for these girls? Mm. Sometimes I've seen, I've also talked to some women. Mm. They give these girls too much freedom. Mm. They let them go in every space in the bedroom. That's a, I mean, uh, sorry, in the house. You mm. understand? Those are the boundaries that you're supposed to draw. This girl is supposed to know that, you know what? You are here to work. But it's not about even being rude to them or mm. something. Eh? But it. they need to know this is your job description. Is if it, you see that, them that, that, there's, a, there's, a, there's a group of you men. Have to mm. There's a group of men I meet. We call the, they call themselves the bachelor's crib. And one man said, in, in particular, I said, my, this is the way my housemaid smells. Eh? Every time I pass her, and she did, so natural and real. Eh? <laughs> aphrodisiac. So, 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 uh, uh, so, the thing is, aphrodisiac so this is what I, this is what I told most of my girls who come for my bridal shows. Like rule number one, your husband has no dealing so whatsoever with your, with your, you know, absolutely with your no dealing, house. nothing, yeah. even asking for money. How can you say, go get to seven daddy's How? How? Uh -huh. How? So now, this is what happens with us men. You throw this girl in my face every day. Mm -hmm. Guess what? She's doing everything you must do. Mm -hmm. So I'm connecting so much with her than you are. Mm -hmm. You know, we are in bed, just, you are a CEO. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I want, a friend, one of the lawyer guys in my bachelor's crib said, having sex with my maid became so easy than having sex with my wife. Right. I was like, why? Because you're using her. She no, thinks yeah, that, this is, yeah, the innocence. it's easy, of course. This is what she said. There's innocence and taking advantage this is of what, somebody who has less. This it's is what the man said. That. The wife yeah. is like a CEO at home. Mm. She's busy vetting the man. Did you shower? I mean, sniffing him to see if you... Did you shower? Mm. Instead of you doing it romantically, honey, you go to shower. Take a, mm. take a towel with you. Mm. Meanwhile, you're there. Have you showered? She's done with her shower and she's in her bed seated. Have you showered? So the guy is like, man, every time I'm entering that bed, I feel like I'm going for an interview or some sort of <laughs> thing. Like you're dirty. So, so I stay in my TV watching until like past midnight, Al Jazeera, whatever, all those news finishes. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes it hits me the, day, the first day I tried. I just mm -hmm. went there. For some reason, I touched. This is a real story. I wish I was lying. He touched the house. In. He said the dopamine rose. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, she had had a, an interview of Did You Shower? Mm -hmm. So he went back to his. You know, and, watch it, and watched, watched his Al Jazeera. Mm. Meanwhile, the, the TV room and the, their bedroom, there's a corner where the maids the maid please. So mm. he said, man, something natural about these maids. Mm. The way they smell. And then me and my wife has become so like, you know, mm. an, an interviewer, like I'm on a job mm. interview. Mm. She, she's become a wife. That's Ex what they do. She, yeah, yeah. I know, but there's a, nice, there's a nice <laughs> way. There's a nice hour to do it. But yeah. can I tell you something funny yeah. about men and showering? Hey. Sorry, men. You don't like to shower? Not, not really liking shower, hey. but, but there's a time you don't want to even be told to shower. Because you feel like I'm your mama. Something like that. Okay. So this is how you do it. This, there's a sexy way to do it. Mm. Don't shower before he, he is. You're like, honey, how? Is it? You go shower? 
Make a playful okay. sound. And then you go do the, the, the shower. That's a trick thing. <laughs> now, meanwhile. But you see, I have issues with um, society always equipping with a woman must do this, a woman must do that. I think we have forgotten to balance it. Exactly. You have conversations with, uh, say, you have conversations with women. Women, yes. Like right now. With women, what women are supposed to, to do. do. And then you forget what men are supposed to do. Then you have entitled men who are not doing enough. Then you have an angry woman who is asking you like a mama because she feels you like you, yes. you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You as a sex therapist, uh -huh. you really need to educate these men. I, love so I think we are, we are missing out on something. There's a lot of content of that woman do this, woman do that. Is that Where is that content of, yeah? yeah. When we get into these relationships, marriages, there are things that we start that yes. we can't finish. Exactly. Right. When we get mates, mm. we let go. Throw them out. Mm -hmm. We let go and we're like, ah, cut it off, yeah, baby. Right. We watch it again, right? Eh? So yes, both parties, I think. I think they need this. Yeah. This is what this is what we do. We need to understand. There's a bit of intellect and knowledge. Right. Women, women have this intellect in them. Like mm. you know, you see, intellect is something we learn. But then knowledge is something that is built yeah, over yeah, time. You, you, have a, you have a baby girl. You have a baby girl who is eight, but she's doing mammally, motherly kind of things. Mm. And then this boy who's 16 is busy on games and kicking yeah. balls. Mm. Now, depending on how you're raising him. Exactly. <laughs> so what, what, I, what I'm trying yeah. to, to say here yeah. is, in as much as we do this, every, the society has bred with men not to seek for help. We need to help. We need this to is reverse that. This is what I'm trying we to do. To because that. when a man knows what to do, even though you don't know nothing. Uh, Somewhat, somewhere you can blend. Yeah, uh, when a man knows a lot. If you find a man who actually was brought up well, uh, ooh, you thank God for that. And man. then the mistake, with, the mistake like, with you, yeah. mothers of sons. Mm -hmm. There's a group of ma women called mothers of sons. I mm -hmm. meet them once they're in a there? while. They're there. Yeah. yeah. Why am I tying that? <laughs> they're called mothers of sons, and they okay. called me to talk to them one time about mm -hmm. boys and stuff. And then this is one thing you forget. Mm -hmm. You forget that you're raising a husband mm -hmm. and uh, a, a provider, son. Right. And son. then for you, you father. raise him as your son. Mm -hmm. Guess what you do as a son? You watch over him. You don't like even make mistakes. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I'm so grateful for is that I don't regret my I had a beautiful childhood. Mm. How beautiful it was, there was no one to tell me what to do. Mm. I, I mean, didn't have parents at the time. Mm. I was often at an early age, which mm. was a blessing so you... to me. Meaning that I don't regret everything I've done. The so you were more independent than, very, yeah. I was yeah. independent by 10, mm. meaning that every decision I made mm. was not influenced. Mm. Now for you, you're chilling, mm. your children want to do. Okay. Now, about the maids and, and, and the men, this is mm. what we, we forget. When these maids come home, there's actually maids who come to Kampala just to find husbands. Just exactly. to find husbands. Yes, those yeah. ones are there. No, they yeah. even come with the Jews. There's, there's a friend of mine who came and, and told me, Brian, I have a problem yes. with mm. my maid. Something's I found in my bed. And I, and I asked her what I did. I think husband. you've seen us on social media. Some people who actually no, write this, this girl said, this is for my Mikisa. Mm. This is for my Mikisa. She even has a chogi. Mm. And then she asked, even my husband. You know, you know the funny thing about yeah. what you guys never understand about energy. In therapy, we, we talk about a lot of energy things. Mm -hmm. That, I'm not, lucky I, I can be a very handsome man. Mm -hmm. But then when my energy doesn't even catch you, like look at me and yeah, it's, it's, and then there's this guy who is not really hot. Is there? But then, but, is the, but then is, uh, when it comes to you, feel a certain way. Mm -hmm. That's energy. This girl said, my maid, Fumbachai. Even my husband said, Han, don't cook tea. Mm, Let yeah. <coughs> and they all accepted. <laughs> they all, they all accepted. Yeah. And then so the thing is, the things you forget, the things you ignore, mm. really make a lot of sense. And yet, what that woman would do instead of it saying, said, ask her mm. how, how she makes that tea. tea. Make but tea. now we know we've yeah, so yeah. so, <laughs> My issue is that though she can make the tea and serve the tea. It exactly. doesn't and, and again keep boundaries mm. because it's when you hire a really nice chef who makes mm. food, they're mm. just good at what they do yeah. they can make the food serve it make it be busy in the table be busy on the table uh, yeah. break some plates throw some, <laughs> some <cool. laughs> but break serve some plates if you make yeah it. exactly she mm. doesn't have to come to do mm. that's her job she works she stops and then also when you're laying out boundaries you bring in this maid or household and you talk to the household but you haven't talked to your man exactly so your man doesn't know the boundaries and he should they should by the way they should, they should. actually when you bring in the maids yes good. you see how i am paying the bills mm. for this girl mm. i happen to have a, a male house help right but i'm very reluctant with him sometimes he doesn't even do what he has to do mm. and i'm cool with mm. that right and then she comes in like hey, look at what he's doing and you're not doing anything 
I'm just imagining that was a girl. Mm. The fight mm. would have in that house. Mm. Men are always reluctant with the maids. Mm. Sometimes you start reading stories that are not even there. Mm. So the issue is, once the maid comes in the home, the only person who's supposed to be giving them roles and chores should be the woman. You. Actually, this is what my friend, one of my old friends told me that when, my maid, when I see my maid coming from there, I go the other yeah, side. Yeah. Mm. That's the rule. And then this is what I told a woman. You have a bigger house. Mm. When the husband enters the house, made out of the house, uh. go to your, their room. Mm. Because no, by the time, mm. it's done. And the thing women forget is, mm. God made every one of you separate and special. Mm. Let me tell you about this. You know you women, you are like chicken. Mm. And this place has their own chicken. Another oh place has God, chicken. Them to cars. <laughs> I'm just giving, I'm just giving <laughs> an example. Oh, <laughs> let, let, let's, look, let's look at the base. Let's look at the basic. Uh, uh. If they gave us chicken today to prepare it, all of us, same recipe, same time, mm. we will come up with different tastes. Of course. Right. The same thing with the sex beat of the story. Mm. We've had a lot of men say that, hey, if you ever make a mistake and go to your maid, you may never go back to mama. Mm. And then they fail to understand that this person mm -hmm. you're talking about has a different energy. Mm. In sex, we talk about energy. Mm. There's a guy who would corner you for a whole long time, has money, does everything, mm. but vibe died. Mm. Vibration is negative. So mm. once these maids come into your house, so, but maids are more submissive. So men love mm. women who are it's submissive. Yeah. Yeah. And then so, there's, yeah, a, there's, a man, there's, there's a there's a man there's a Brian show I did, and the young later the man came to me and said, you know, Brian, I found my mm. maid. My maid lays our bed. Mm. My maid mm. organizes everything in our okay. bed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So one time I came back during the day. Like, you see how you came back to it. You find the maid just laying on the bed, uh, relaxing. On their bed. <laughs> yeah, because she's, she's tired. tired. She's tired. tired, she's been laying and she's, she's relaxing. When I came, I was like, oh, yeah. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. So I, I just closed and when I, I called my wife, like, wait. Mm. What is this girl doing in our room? Like, no, she was just helping me with my Can you imagine? putting stuff together. Okay. And the girl was like, oh. I'm not going to judge that because sometimes mm. you don't know what's going on. Be there while like she's day. doing. Be there while she's doing. Be there while she's doing something. But then also, I think for me at the end of the day, have a conversation as, uh, as a family. Mm. It's like husband, wife. Mm. Where I, I no, why, why, why the First of all, my man will never pay a house sale. Exactly. How? Oh, where? He, he doesn't, doesn't even know, know how much. He doesn't you, know how much everything my household needs is on me. me. Yes. You fire, you hire. And because uh -huh. you do that, and most women forget this also. This is what one, one friend said me, you know what, I don't do house help. Mm. I make sure I bring a relative from his side that I know actually is a relative to help us do oh, a wow. bit of things. Uh, that's a trick uh, she did. That's a good a trick. A relative from his side that mm. actually he, I know very well that this mm. is a relative. Uh, the thing about men and our mm. sex mm. life, like I said, when it's a need, when the need arises, sometimes you've seen even men doing their own children or their own sisters or cousins in the house. Oh, mm. So it's not, it's never, it's never, it's never mm. a ceiling or concretize that, okay, because it's a relative, nothing will happen. But then just know where to stop. Mm -hmm. As you, as you lucky in yeah. me and my man, you don't, you don't touch their shirt mm. in my presence. So <laughs> there's no ways about it. Not that the, the maids are sweeter than mama, mm. but mm. the things we create. Mm. Women are women. Made, yes. not made, what? <laughs> They're you all know, women. You just have to lay boundaries. Well, looks like we've come to the end of the show. We had so much fun and we wanted to continue with the conversation. Maybe we'll have a part two. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kachai with Lucky. Just go to YouTube, hit subscribe right now.